All right, so we're going to talk about the updated physical education activity tracker, and you're going to find it in the stream and also in the resource section. Now, we're going to use this tracker to help you check in with me as to what you've been doing. So if you were in kindergarten through third grade, you'll use this tracker one time a week and submit it to me. If you were in fourth and fifth grade, you'll be submitting the tracker twice a week. And if you're in middle school, you'll be using it every single day. Now, just because you're only submitting it one time a week if you're, say, a third grader, doesn't mean you should only be doing physical activity one day a week. We still want you to do 30 to 60 minutes of physical activity every single day. So you can come into the classroom and pick a warm-up video, a dance video, one of the uh, cool fitness activities that we have. So we still want you doing stuff every single day. Okay. Now, when you click on the tracker, you'll see on the very first page, there are different activities that you can participate in. So if you just start at the top and click on outdoor indoor activities, that'll take you to another screen. It gives you a list of things that you can do. For example, walking with your family, jump roping, hula hooping, um, all kinds of different things. So you can just click on what you would like to do that day and then proceed to the next screen. At the next screen, you can choose a warm-up. So maybe you just do the classic warm-up or the tennis or basketball, whatever you'd like to do. Once again, you just click on what you did, okay? As you proceed through each screen, it'll give you a choice as to which activity you'd like to do, and you just simply click on the one that you chose. Uh, under the Kahoot section, it'll also give you an option as to how many questions that you answered correctly. I believe it's five, six to seven, and then eight or more. So after you go through each section, you have outdoor indoor activities, warm-ups, dance videos, Kahoot, uh, nutrition videos and articles, games and activities, and then exercise and skill instruction videos. So after you go through those, you just simply uh, click on which ones you completed. It's going to ask for your first and last name. It's going to ask for your teacher, uh, your grade level, and then the intensity of the activity, the type of activity, how much time it was. And then when you're done with that, you just click submit. And when you submit it, it'll come back to me showing that you have completed it for that day. Okay, so this particular tracker will be open all week long. I'll probably close responses on Friday night and then we'll reopen it on Monday. And We'll keep, try to keep the same options open for a few weeks because obviously you're not going to do every single thing every day, but we'll constantly update it and add some new things, just like we've been doing uh, in the Google Classroom. All right, guys. Have a great time. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.